needs in the black community. We're going back to junior high school with chemicals. And, uh, and Bird can give you a heart attack with chemicals. And, uh, and so on and so forth. So, Bird Fight Documentary, YouTube. Right, next episode with the mind can digest. Mind can digest. <clears throat> um, and they have jelly belly, strings attached, strings of a master. And um, and what snaps on, it looks like it snaps on and snaps off. Actually has to go through the intermediary, the jelly belly. Strings of a master. And so um, a black has parts that snap on and snap off which have to go through the intermediary portion, jelly belly. And a lot of times China has a smaller, I would say we're gonna do jelly belly chemical. Everybody has a jelly belly chemical. White has a little bit more jelly. But black is gonna go through the shoulders. Um, and go through jelly belly. Okay, now to the five band bones. And the basic idea of a chemical which can't be duplicated, which takes some truth. And if we try to be duplicated, it would it would turn into a, a high fructose uh, volatile chemical, which we suspect the birds use at the exact time frame since it's a truthful intake unduplicatable chemical uses to lasso like Ghostbusters Western movies your your being yourself and to have an upper knowledge from a bird's perspective suspectfully on man. Depending on how you look at the idea of meat, which is brought up with bird in the book of Genesis chapter 9, thus far for all the lashings that we have received thus far for many, all the way down to almost receiving a heart attack without hand. So we can go with Daniel chapter 11, people dying without hand, and, and some kind of thing which makes people strong. <clears throat> Daniel chapter 11. From there, the bird is definitely going to be our number one assailant on the map and uh, many times if the opportunity is greater than being seen he'll take the opportunity over being seen that is for one downgrade in uh, compulsion on his on his target and we have been his target several times so but as we get into these bands as to where we're going as far and the capabilities of losing losing memory and that was maybe stated the art looking awesome so if you're a bird and you say we want to be a part of something that's different than the rest of the animals out there and we're an intermediary ourselves this bird is but other parts were intermediary was the jelly belly with strings attached pup strings of a master and that moves some 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 things in one. but um but man's mind is a from a bird's perspective can tangle within and i always thought the bird was off anyway <clears throat> these kind of adventures and philosophies we thought we'd just add that in there too okay so then getting to the unduplicatable chemical what we are finding is that sometimes most likely you're always going to be surrounded by several colleagues of bands whether you're at the pelvic and um doing the motions the basic motions uh, from that area. And what we do have is a squeezy sporus from this area. And so we have lower back pain commercials, like a pimp's cane um, for lower back pain commercials. And you have five bands, and you have five bands at your pelvic, and your fingers have five bands. And, um, and what we're looking for is an unduplicatable chemical. But in reality, or in more reals, we would say that the intake of light and information is amongst the unduplicatable chemicals chemical, which simply would be, from our perspective, a very, very truthful chemical, and would be able to send out its own chemical in past tense relations. The bird, however, or other dreamer people may feel that inevitably uh, putting people to sleep at the border area. If we were to work the border, which is simply the border area of all people in the desert, we would say that most likely if we were to perfect a technique, possibly sleeping is, is where this is going. Um, so 
So if we were to have a new action then, and we were to understand that our unduplicatable chemical must go through the bone, circulate, circulate, and then, um, and then, but we do know there's going to be a connection to the marrow, and um, in that in actually the fulfiller of a snap-on, snap-off part would have been to the jelly belly, while a fulfiller of um, eyeball, eyeballing, which direction, five bands, and the emotional content actually went through the first unduplicatable chemicals connection to the bone marrow. So fulfilling even negotiating which direction or pivotal eye, eyeball looking um, within the emotion gathering, not to mention that the emotions themselves seem to be a chemical and they seem to have started from the unduplicatable chemicals proportions with the osteosclerosis circulation. Um, and that is going into the marrow, depending on how you want to, I say how you want to, marrow, marrow, how you want to want to look at it. But um, that the emotions, when they are reacquainted, go back through the same intermediary portions of bones in the marrow, phosphors, we call them little patches of marrow, maybe patches of marrow, however you want to look at it. And um, have everything to do with five bands themselves. Besides the fact that the shoulders and the lower portions of the torso are going to be at two different wavelengths, they're going to be at two different speeds. They're not going to know each other's formula in one sense or speed wavelengths at the time frame of formula, which only deals at this point with squeezing um, and contracting oscillations and, um, and, and certain movements. Back to the five bands at the lower back pain commercial, you see five bands there, and your fingers have five bands, and your pelvic has five bands. And a long time ago, we just stuck with the pelvic and said, go to your chemical, your pelvic, which sits still the most, and it could go between left and right sides. And, um, and look for your five bands in chemical form around there, and it will feel like you're going over a vertebrae or a squirrel hole, roughly. And it really just chemicals. And we always thought that. We don't want to get things confused between which way and, or which not all of them are the exact same <clears throat> to begin with. So what we have found that is now that we have a new intake of personification, what usually happens is, is that you have a neutralizing chemical. But it just so happens that this is the time frame when you see the two and you pair the two up. You have yesterday's stuff and you have today's stuff. You can't forget that immunities are that you can't be seen. For instance, we can't see you when we're black. To the Quakers, our skinners, our skinners, first, homeless, white, 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 no way. Everybody with a deed in any community plus Sweden, we couldn't even see these people. And we were black and or was going to repeat, they can't see me and they're black. We're sometimes leaving and they're black, they're black, they're leaving. We can't see you and we're black right now. And or is going to repeat, they can't see me and we're proud of you and we're black. They're black, they're proud of me. We're so so proud of you, they're so so proud of me, we're so so proud of you, they're so so proud of me. From there, what we found were that the immunities, if, if you were to look at a starfish and took some chemical out of it, the scientists discovered that if you took a chemical out, we're going to suspect its immunities, that the starfish can't rejuvenate its limbs, it's used to rejuvenating its limbs. So when we put those chemicals back in, they were able to start functioning again, almost in a stage-by-stage -stage process. Okay, okay. So evidently we're bringing black to the old folks community, and we still think that glaciers of ice are the best way to look at it in the Northwest because we can't see you. And for when you're getting a chemical reimbursement outside of this uh, other stuff, and we're getting, uh, we're understanding that we have an, a, an immunity. Okay, so basically the immunity is any act which people cannot see. And in our world, I guess in spiritualization world, it's almost the fulfillment of an idea, roughly. Plus you can't be seen, which has whatever. And that may seem very hard to do to fill in a, a complete idea. Well, I've almost found it out here, in, and we're about to get thermo cameras to make sure we saw hundreds and, and then not um, hundreds and hundreds of birds in the um, because you can't see these birds. But I would suspect that at the gate, we have been there, and we have recorded live, and we have done this and that. And, um, and in come the thermo cameras, and now you get residuals, and you can see these things. And like I said before, the bird is the number one chemical knowledgeable knower right now on things that we've never even heard of. 
and he can give you a heart attack. But right now, he can freeze your in-between parts, which have neutralized the chemical. As we intake light, which has now the end of chemical, register somewhere up in there. We can now go to an osteosporus and recognize that bones which go to a marrow. However, you want to look at it that marrow. You want to look at it that um, what was a, a portion for us, eyeball motion, digestion, maybe five bands, was shared with eyeball motion, maybe five bands, the bone marrow, at its emotional time frame. That means that if the endocrine chemical is correct, as these people had an emotion when they were going into their little tribulation, that same emotion is the exact same character, posture, and understanding that it was at that time frame. Okay, and if you have a second great intake of emotion or whatever, and you pair some neutralizing chemicals together, you'll be taking some of the bands from those uh, new band wavelengths which are now going through oscillations and bizarre and um and would still be able to know for a fact that the actual chemicals would go back to their specks of bone thus far versus just oscillate through the body and so there are the webs of 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 uh of the catching, there are the webs that the birds are using. These are the webs that now the bird is using, and uh, these are the webs that the birds are using. But this is the time frame from which they are uh, using those things. So what's interesting is the neutralizing chemical of our own really never goes away. So as the bird pairs up with outside influence, or anybody, I would suspect at this point, pairs it with outside influence. Our neutralizing chemicals never went away. We were still able to do whatever. Some the fact that he is there at perfect time frame. And can zap your memory, which takes us to the zapping of the memory. So the zap, zap, zap your memory. Your memory. Or, which is what this bird does. He goes to the exact time frame of some kind of perfect uh, inner chemical knowledge towards the links of where we started to be very dreamier people. From his intermediary world, he was from an intermediary world between uh, the links of man and some of the thinking processes from his world. Uh, um, and uh, but all in all, we were supposed to get rid of this bird. We have wooden soldiers that march with the BB gun. All of them are wooden. This bird's knees are reversed. We have to walk like a tree. We gave us something to do. And we got thermal cameras from Japan on this one. And this time we're going to be able to see this bird. And um, I guess roughly to have knowledge, by the way, was also considerably deep. It was almost a chemical all the time. We're in due time going to some kind of registration before having five bands or being part of five bands, uh, which contract and constrict. And you can see those in the lower back pain commercials. There's five bands, and because they get a chain, a pimp chain, they, you can see those, and you can see them in the pelvic, the motions that they had, they have five chem bands, fingers have five bands, and it's still all about the unduplicatable chemical. Then there's outside influence by, uh, by the birds and, and the suspectful nature of the actual GPS systems for what they're worth. Birds used to be our servants, in a sense, they used to be servants' birds over a couple hundred years ago. No doubt that the idea of a bird being one's servant is not new. I think that these people have brought their own birds over here like the gremlins little teeny weeny um, chihuahua first started off before they started transforming it was a very cute thing and they released it and it transformed everywhere i think this bird is known about and um that we're going to get rid of this bird for the safety of the environmental area 
because other people have brought their own birds in here to trick people, it can go that far. So we had to take all birds out for the sake of just a few or something like that. Okie dokie. We're going back to junior high school with chemicals. And, uh, and bird can give you a heart attack with chemicals. And, um, and so on and so forth. So, bird fight documentary, YouTube. Okay. His knees are in reverse, but he has an army. We walk like a tree. All army. And let me warn all of you that boomerang is in the shape of this bird's knees. This is not the first time I suspect that our kind have met their kind in battle. My boomerang goes out, it comes back. After hitting bird upside the head with his own knee. That's all I have to say about that. Peace out. <clears throat> a desert wind is blowing in. There's no notes to perform then. The wild should have known this. Solid. Solid.